کرسٹ سر جی بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آن بہاف آف آرگنائزر ڈاکٹر ساجد عظیمی اینڈ انجینئر فراز الحق آئی ویلکم آل آف یو ان ٹو ڈے ویب انار آن ٹرانس باؤنڈری واٹر مینجمنٹ کنفلکٹس اینڈ ایشوز تھینکس ٹو آل آف یو فار جوائننگ ایس مائی نیم از ڈاکٹر محمد وسیم اینڈ فیکلٹی ممبر ان سینٹر آف ایکسلینٹ واٹر ریسورس انجینئرنگ یونیورسٹی لاہور دس سینٹر از دی لیڈنگ پرووائڈر آف دی واٹر ایجوکیشن اینڈ ریسرچ ان پبلک سیکٹر بفور وی افیشلی گیٹ اسٹارٹیڈ آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو گو اوور دی ایجنڈا آف ٹو ڈے ویبینار ان ٹو ڈے ویبینار وی ووڈ ہیو ٹو ٹیکنیکل سیشن ود سیون رینونڈ اسپیکر فرام ایجوکیشن سیکٹر پبلک اینڈ پرائیویٹ آرگنائزیشن آف ڈفرینٹ کنٹریز دی آڈینس ول ہیو دی اپرچونیٹی ٹو سبمٹ ٹیکسٹ کوشچنس ٹو دی پریزینٹر بائی ٹائپنگ یور کوشچن ان ٹو دی ٹیکسٹ پین آف دی ایم ایس ٹیم یو مے سینڈ ان یور کوشچن ایٹ اینی ٹائم ڈیورنگ دی پریزنٹیشن وی ول کلیکٹ دیز اینڈ ایڈریس دیم ڈیورنگ دی کوشچن اینڈ آنسر سیشن ایٹ دی اینڈ آف دی پریزنٹیشن Or at the end of the presentation, we will love to hear from the audience for any question or explanation required from the concerned speaker. Moreover, a recorded version of this webinar will also be available. So without wasting any further time, I would like to invite Hafiz Ahmad Hamad to recite few verses from the Holy Quran with English translation. Over to Hafiz Ahmad Hamad. Send it down from the clouds. 
but we are the sender. If we will, we, work, we must, might make it better. What then? Are you not grateful? Tell you then, the fire is kindled. Did you produce the tree thereof? Or we are the producer? Allah Almighty has spoken the things. وَمَا عَدَيْنَا إِلَّا الْسَّلَاحِ Jazakallah. Professor uh, Mr. Hafiz Ahmad Hamad. Now I would love to invite Professor Dr. Habibur Rahman, Dean Civil Engineering, UT Lahore, for opening remarks for today's webinar on transboundary water management. Professor Dr. Habibur Rahman is well-renowned personality in water sector and he is expert in physical based distributed hydrological modeling, hydraulic modeling, reservoir sedimentation and much more. Now over to Dr. Professor Dr. Habibur Rahman sir. Sir. Thank you very much. Uh, in the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Uh, it is a matter of immense pleasure for me to warmly welcome all the distinguished speakers and valued participants of the international webinar on transboundary water management issues and conflicts organized by Center of Excellence in Water Resources Engineering at University of Engineering and Technology, Lahore. In today's uh, webinar, about seven renowned speakers will give their talks. I am highly thankful to all learned speakers for sparing their time and being with us. I have been informed that about 700 researchers, scientists, practitioners and academicians have registered in this online event and seven speakers are going to present their contributions on transboundary water management, including issues and conflicts. I think it is quite important activity and that will be helpful to disseminate the knowledge on one of the most important issue faced by Pakistan and the world jointly. Why, by the way, there are transboundary issues? You know, one of the main reason is that the political boundaries are not same as the catchment boundaries. Owing to global surge in population and water scarcity, water conflicts over freshwater resources are expected to increase in the future. Within the next three decades, the global population is estimated to grow at an alarming rate. Limited freshwater resources will be shared among an increased population and therefore global per capita water availability is destined to decline dramatically. In addition to the worldwide increase in population growth and the subsequent decline in per capita water supply, Certain other contingent aspects also account for water scarcity in the world. For example, the rise in sea levels has increased the salinity of groundwater, which has considerably, considerably diminished water supplies. Similarly, the melting of glaciers and climate change are responsible for causing droughts and floods which have also distressed water supplies. Consequently, owing to the boost in global population and water shortage, worldwide water disputes are expected to rise substantially in the near future. Similarly, as we know, several transboundary rivers are being shared in South Asia by neighboring states within a certain framework. There are generally four major basins in this region, which include 
gangs, magna, Brahmaputra, and Indus basins. These basins consist of huge rivers flowing into the various countries of South Asia, including China, Nepal, Bhutan, India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. Various treaties and agreements were signed between South Asia countries regarding transboundary water disputes. These treaties include India-China, India-Bangladesh, and India-Bhutan, and India-Pakistan treaties. However, conflicts and issues regarding transboundary were Resources, water resources are expected to increase in the near future. Therefore, it is important to provide the information related to transboundary conflicts, issues, treaties, and future concerns to the researchers and policymakers. The main purpose of this international seminar is to review the status of transboundary issues and conflicts and to identify the way forward in implementing the regulations and management of transboundary river basins. Center of Excellence in Water Resources Engineering, UET Lahore, being pioneer in water sector is playing its role through human resource development and research activities to measure the change in historical perspective measure its impact in future perspective and come up with possible solutions to mitigate the impacts of the looming threats to its sustainable water resources development and management. Our tree plantation at the campus, water recycling unit in main mosque and recharging wells <coughs> in the Junaid Jamshed Stadium of the UET are some of the initiatives taken by the university to highlight the need of non-conventional ways of water stress reduction. Although small in size, but they have large impacts in terms of knowledge transfer to our students, which are future leaders of Pakistan. I am confident that the research dissemination activities like the one we are witnessing today will have long-term impacts towards our goals of socio-economic development for the betterment of population, not only of this country, but of the world. It will also bring together the like-minded researchers on common platform that will be helpful in joint researchers. I will emphasize the speakers to highlight the recent research carried out at their respective research centers in Scotland, Nepal, Pakistan, and other countries for mutual benefits of the participants of the webinar. Hope uh, we will be having concrete suggestions and recommendations from the speakers and participants that will be shared with the decision makers that will improve the capability of the nation and the region to mitigate and adopt to the shared transboundary river basin management. At the end, I congratulate the organizers of the webinar, the Director of Center of Excellence in Water Resources Engineering, faculty and staff of the Center of Excellence for organizing this important event. I hope that this webinar will be highly successful in achieving its goals. Thank you, Allah Hafiz. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Professor Dr. Habibur Rahman, Dean, Civil Engineering. Now I would like to invite Dr. Ulam Nabi Saab to chair the first session. Dr. Ulam Nabi Saab is also a renowned personality in hydrology sector with vast research and education experience. He is currently working as associate professor in Center of Excellence 
over to Dr. Ulam Nabi Saab, sir. Dr. Ulam Nabi Saab. Assalamu alaikum and good morning. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Vaseem, for uh, organizing this uh, webinar. Uh, Dr. Habib has nicely presented the water issues and the contribution and the effort which are being carried out by Center of Excellence in Water Source Engineering and Water Sector. Uh, first of all, I uh, Congratulate all of the participants and the organizer to sharing and knowledge and experience uh, to continue uh, the activities of this webinar. I first invite Professor Dr. Noor Muhammad Khan, Director, Center of Excellence, Water Resource Engineering, uh, to share his views about transboundary water management issues and conflicts. Uh, Dr. Noor has earned his PhD from AIT in 2008 and uh, currently he is working as a director, Center of Excellence Water Resource Engineering, uh, UT Lahore, and also he is the head of hydraulic division and civil engineering department at uh, UT Lahore. So, with this, I request uh, Dr. Noor, please uh, have uh, your views. And Thank you, Dr. Sir. Thank you for a nice uh, uh, in introduction. Uh, let me share my screen and uh, I would like to know if my screen is visible to you people with uh, presentation title screen. If it is visible, uh, the first screen. Yes, it's okay. <coughs> Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Rabbi Sharahli Sadri Vajassir Liyamri Wahlo Lukta Tamil Lisani Yaftahu Koli. I am uh, uh, I am uh, deeply uh, honored uh, to welcome all the speakers of uh, this uh, one day webinar. Uh, speakers from uh, UK. Uh, Dr. Biswas is expected to join in the afternoon session. Uh, UK uh, speaker from Nepal, Dr. Arun, is expected and he has already joined the webinar and he will be speaking in the second uh, session. And uh, speakers from Islamabad and Rawalpindi, uh, hopefully oh, they will be joining with us uh, to talk about a very important topic uh, which due to certain reasons we were not able to uh, elaborate, we were not able to discuss in our previous series of seminar and webinars which we have been uh, organizing at the Center of Excellence in Water Resources. Uh, uh, here is a, a, a background or prospective view of my center. Those who have not visited this center, I would uh, love to introduce that. Uh, this is a very beautiful uh, center which is focused on the research on water resources engineering and water resources management and hydrology. We have a collection of very uh, knowledgeable and resourceful uh, faculty members over here. Uh, most of them earned their PhDs in uh, different fields of water resources, uh, some from China, some from Korea, myself from AIT, and some from UET Lahore. So we have a very good collection of researchers over here, and we are at the moment housing about 180 postgraduate students some of them are doing PhD in uh, various fields of water resources. Uh, for example, one of our PhD have been done in the advanced uh, use of the satellite based rainfall for flood forecasting over here and uh, conjective use has been uh, important uh, topic which have been studied at this center. With this brief, brief review of my center, uh, we have a series of seminar and webinars which have been carried out over here and workshops. Uh, core hydraulic uh, teaching like uh, 3D modeling trainings uh, conducted for the irrigation department and the uh, allied uh, uh, professionals. We have also carried out uh, core uh, learning of the design of the dams and workshops related to that. GAS remote sensing and dissemination of the knowledge have been carried out through workshops, uh, courses over here. 
but this kind of management uh, uh, topic have been somehow uh, neglected and ignored and uh, during my visit to uh, nepal last year one of the uh, uh, one of the deputy secretary from the uh, foreign ministry he asked me to carry out uh, such an activity in center so that uh, this neglected area should be highlighted we should have the better learned uh, professionals with respect to transboundary issues uh, with this background, uh, uh, I would like to uh, tell that my presentation will include uh, a brief review of the objective of the webinars and mainly those objectives have been described by Professor Habib already. And the uh, uh, bulk of my uh, presentation will be reviewing few main uh, uh, transboundary uh, basins around the world. I have selected few of them, although there are many in the world. Uh, to see how they are managing their transboundary waters. What are the legal framework available to them to manage them? If uh, they are performing in a better way, if they have some uh, uh, scope to improve it or not. So through brief review, one or two slides about each basin, uh, I will uh, highlight what they are doing, what are their main uh, issues and problems, which countries are sharing those basins over there. And then finally, I will uh, uh, summarize th those differences and uh, about the management of these uh, international transboundary rivers. Hope everybody is familiar that transboundary river is that one uh, which transfer at least a political boundary. And uh, usually political boundary are uh, the uh, country levels, although uh, at the lowest level we can also go further. But here, Transboundary River will require those ones which are uh, passing an international boundary or international border over there. Water is shared by more than one country. In the end, I will uh, uh, summarize some of the uh, forecasts and some of the future trends about the problems being faced by the international uh, river basins as done by, as collected by uh, UN, uh, EP and DHI study, they call it Trans Water Assessment Program. It was concluded in 2016 and uh, using their uh, uh, report, I would like to highlight that these are the future trends in the transboundary rivers. And then we will uh, summarize at the end that what is the way forward for better management of the transboundary rivers. As uh, Professor Habib have uh, introduced that the objective of the seminar, uh, and rather we should call it webinar. And uh, I, would like, I would like to also mention over here that this COVID have uh, provided us an opportunity of arranging such a big event. At the moment, if I see uh, uh, the uh, persons who have joined, more than 200 people at the moment are uh, part of this seminar. And if it would have been uh, done physically, it would have been uh, incurring a lot of expenses over there and it would have been uh, a quite uh, enormous event. But uh, with 200 participants present at the moment, I think it is a good opportunity to disseminate the knowledge we have carefully selected some of the speakers which are very expert uh, of uh, transboundary rivers, uh, different uh, rivers like Indus Basin and uh, Treaty. And uh, also I, I expect that uh, uh, Professor uh, Dr. Ashraf may have joined because he asked me just five minutes ago, send me the link of the webinar. Hopefully he would, he would also be uh, present in the webinar and we will be listening from his uh, remarks and uh, comments about this. So main purpose of this webinar is to provide a platform for dissemination, for discussion uh, of the uh, problems and the issues about the transboundary rivers. And the second thing is uh, we want to learn from the best practices uh, which are being carried out in some of the, while I was doing this research, I was carrying out uh, the review. I have found that some of the river basin are very well managed. They are uh, uh, at a, a next step of managing the river basins as compared to what we are doing at the Indus Basin nowadays. So uh, we can learn from the best practices being carried out, especially in Europe and in USA and other part of the world. And uh, uh, we can move one step ahead, hopefully, uh, through uh, these activities. Uh, if we go through the world level scenario, if we want to see it, uh, transboundary rivers cover um, more than, uh, uh, it encompass more than 
half of the water is passing through the transboundary rivers. It is said that 56% uh, water is uh, contained in the rivers which are crossing the borders, which are the transboundary rivers. And over here, 